We had just finished wrapping up a three-week tour of the national parks out west, going through Yellowstone Glacier, and we were driving back to Minnesota, and I started feeling bad. I just kind of went into shock. The CDC's involvement early in the patient's care was vital to his recovery. Perhaps only 5% of people in the past survive in the illness. So really, the CDC's involvement guiding, helping us with antibiotic uh, decision making, but also the administration of anthrax and immune globulin was integral to the patient's recovery. CDC's mission is to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to protect the United States from health, safety, and security threats. The Strategic National Stockpile is the nation's repository of medicines to respond to a variety of events. Many of the things that we hold are available from no other source or cannot be delivered in the quantities that we expect to need in a large-scale public health emergency. The mission of the Strategic National Stockpile is to prepare our partners and assure that we can provide the right material at the right place at the right time to secure the nation's health. My role and the Healthcare Preparedness Activities role is we bring partners together from public health, healthcare, and emergency management. When we release the Strategic National Stockpile, then they can more efficiently and more rapidly dispense those medications. We focus on a lot of the large events that would impact a lot of people, such as a pandemic influenza or a large hurricane, a Category 5, or even a big earthquake. The way we like to get the healthcare sector prepared is to have hospitals and the other pieces of the healthcare sector, such as long-term care or pri primary care offices, to work together so that their plans are integrated and so that everybody works in concert so that it's rapid and effective and safe. Community resilience is about coming together in a community's hour of need, sharing and coordinating resources, uh, whether those resources come from government, private sector, or individuals. Uh, that type of coordination pre-event certainly helps determine how well a community is able to respond and recover from a public health emergency. Private partners can actually play a very important role when it comes to a response to a large-scale public health emergency. Uh, and one of the ways that they can support public health is by acting as a dispensing partner and opening up dispensing sites where they would actually dispense medications to their employees. The CDC targets a wide range of, uh, of industry sectors. Um, those include private industry partners, that includes civic organization groups, faith-based organizations, health care, uh, academia, any organizations within a community that could potentially support a public health response. When the whole community responds, you see them recover much more quickly and much more effectively than they otherwise would be. And we see this happen all the time. We see this happen with natural disasters and other types of emergencies that have occurred recently. I am most proud of the Strategic National Stockpile's dedicated professional staff who can make these things happen on a moment's notice. Well, I'm grateful for the CDC and I'm glad that they do that to save one life at a time and that they do keep an eye on these diseases and infections. A critical part of our mission is to assure that we are always ready and can always send any material that we hold to hospitals or to the site of a large-scale event at a moment's notice. The CDC's role is vital in protecting the public's health and the health security of the United States. The Strategic National Stockpile is just a part of that mission. <laughs>